guys, today's topic is setup time and hold time. What is setup time? It is defined as a window of time before the rising edge of clock where the input must not change. Before the rising edge of clock, the input must not change. This is the period where the input should not change. This is the setup window. And what's the hold time? After the rising edge of clock, the input is not allowed to change for a certain period of time. So this is the whole window. In this period, the input is not it should not change after the rising edge of clock. So here is an example where D is an input and Q is an output of the flop. So the input has not changed. It has settled to one over here uh, before the setup window. So and it has also not changed in the whole time. So as a result, the output is perfectly fine, no problem. At A and the output is B. So let's check out what happens when it changes in setup time. So here we have a condition C where the input is changed from Z1 to 0 in setup time. So what it results? It results an unstable state, undecided state that is 0 or 1. So we cannot decide the output whether the output is 0 or 1. This state is called as metastability. Metastable state mm, Metastable state is a huge problem because we cannot decide if it's 0 or 1. And it takes a long long time to settle down to a value. It takes almost a clock period to settle down to a single value. So here the output has settled down to 0. In other cases, it might be settling down to 1, which might be leading to an error. So metastability is a huge problem. So it might be a huge problem while using the state machine flops, where we can, we want to go to one state, but now because of the undesired metastability result, we are going to another state. So how can we avoid this? In a single clock, we can make sure not many levels of logic gates are there between a two flops so that the input doesn't change in this period. So that input doesn't change in this period. Okay? In a single clock, there is no worry. But there is a problem when there are two clocks. So this leads to a concept of synchronization when there are two clocks in a design. So I'll cover the topic of synchronization in the next video. It's nothing but we are adding an extra flop so that we would have an extra time for the output to be stable. Uh, it's a simple topic. I'll explain it next next video. Please like and share and subscribe so that it will be helpful for me. Thanks for watching.